Hi, my name is Paige Scott. I am an, uh, ew, I'm an ISM student at Lone Star High School and I plan on pursuing a career in physical therapy. Okay, I my quote is, we must believe that we are gifted for something and that this thing at whatever cost must be attained. Um, I believe that um, not all the time we'll know exactly what we're called to do, but eventually we'll be set on that track. Although it might not be what you thought you'd be like when you were growing up, like I wanted to be a race car driver and that's not happening. So <laughs> there we go with that. Okay, my mission statement is to provide lifelong lessons to athletes recovering from injuries by allowing them to push past their personal limits and struggles, showing them that the once impossible can be conquered. Like I've been on the flip side of it, so I've been an athlete recovering from an injury. And I know it gets tough, you're gonna wanna give up, but you have to persevere because in the end, everything is going to turn out exactly as it should be. Um, what exactly is physical therapy? Um, physical therapy is the treatment, injury, or deformity by physical methods such as massage, heat treatment, and exercise rather than by drugs or surgery. Um, most people go into physical therapists either to avoid surgery, so to strengthen whatever is weak, and then a lot of the times, most times, people go after surgery to rehab and get their range of motion and stuff back. Okay, what is the job of a physical therapist? Um, they teach patients how to prevent or manage their condition. Um, uh, most of the time they give you a plan, like um, if you hurt your knee, they'll give you exercises that you can do when you're there for like an hour and then most of the time they make you take the plan home and work on it like three times a day so you can really um, get better. Um, th what you may see, this is a uh, electrical stimulation unit. Um, you might see this in the training room at Lone Star. Um, there's multiple modes on this machine. I don't know if you can see the little buttons on the machine, but um, Russian high voltage and inferential current on there, um, they're used to decrease pain and help with the circulation. And then ultrasound is also used, not, not for, you know, when you're pregnant, but um, to help break up scar tissue. Okay, and then some things you might see is like if you have knee surgery or you might have this immobilizer brace. It's supposed to restrict you, so your range of motion, um, you can't really put any pressure on your leg or anything. Um, this is a range of motion thing. Um, I know like when I had surgery, um, I had no range of motion. Um, it couldn't bend my leg or anything. And they, when you go to a physical therapist um, during your appointment, sometimes they bring that little thing out and see how far you've progressed. And then sometimes you might get the bands to you know, sh help strengthen your uh, injury. And yeah, sh strengthening it. And then this is actually the machine, it's called a range of motion machine. Um, like I said, when you have surgery, that's for knee surgery. Um, you aren't able to move your leg, so they're trying to get you up and at it as soon as possible. So this machine is actually pretty cool. It moves your leg for you, just up and down, up and down. And you can set it to certain modes, like, hey, I don't want to go <coughs> over like 90 degrees, so you can set it like to 90 degrees. And that really helps get you back on track. Um, why physical therapy? Um, I've always had an interest in helping athletes. Um, I knew I wanted to do something with sports because I'm a sports freak. It's kind of embarrassing sometimes. But, and then, like I said, I had a major injury my sophomore year of high school. And at first, I was like, why me? Why did it have to get a major injury? Because I've never broken anything, anything. So, um, about four months after rehab, I finally got to reality and like, hey, I can either let this injury define who I am or I can let it set me back and be negative about it. So I thought, hey, what better to do than make a positive impact out of it. Um, college, four years um, for the bachelor's degree, um, three years for the doctorate. And then after you get your doctorate, you're not necessarily licensed until you pass the national board exam. Um, this exam covers everything like the anatomy side. And for a physical therapist, you can be um, licensed in certain things like knees, arms, but for this test, it covers everything. So you have to be good at it. Okay, my research assessments. Um, this one was talking about how much physical therapy has changed over the years, which first you needed a master's degree, 
now I need a bachelor's degree in, to get a doc doctorate as well. And it was talking about how diverse the locations are. Many times you think physical therapy um, are in hospitals because you know that's where you have your surgery. So, but a lot of them are in clinics. Um, and this this article was talking about this lady who didn't know what she wanted to do with her life. Um, she found a joy working with kids, and she wanted to help impact their lives. So um, it was talking about how not only do physical therapists see like athletes, um, they also see kids with disabilities. Um, and then at the end of the day, she might not be able to help them get to where she wanted them to be, but she just wants to make them smile, if anything. Um, this one, it wasn't about physical therapy, it's about athletic training, but it was talking about the importance of having athletic trainers at school. Um, many districts do not have the money to fund them, and we're a fortunate district that actually has athletic trainers, two of them. So we need to get more awareness on that. Um, four was injury prevention. Although you might not think how important it is, your posture is everything. Your slouch, everything, it all dwindles down. And then resting our bodies is another huge thing. You might think, hey, I can go further, I can run another you know, mile, but you gotta be careful with that. Um, my interview assessments. My first one was with the um, FC Dallas head athletic trainer. His name is Skyler Richards. He was able to talk me through like, hey, there's multiple levels to athletic training, which I totally forgot. There's a um, high school side where you can teach, you can um, work with athletes. There's a collegiate side, of course, college athletes, and there's a professional side. And right now I'm leaning towards that collegiate slash professional side because I don't really, I don't want to teach. That's the thing. So, oh wait, hold on. And then Coach Martinez and Coach Clark. So I've been an athletic trainer at Lone Star for four years now and I've gotten to really see what they do, and that's pretty cool. And then Kevin Autzen was the FC Dallas head physical therapist, and he was able to teach me a lot about um, grafts, like if you have surgery, sometimes you need grafts like cadavers, or you can use like ligaments from yourself. And then I'm gonna show you all some pictures from my surgery of like the ligaments that they put in and stuff, because I had to use a cadaver, so it's pretty cool looking at that. Um, and physical therapy versus athletic training. Um, I had a lot of athletic training interviews, but I'm still really interested in physical therapy because I want to more work more with like athletes as opposed to with um, older people. Um, my opportunity, um, I actually get an opportunity to speak about my cadaver that I have in my leg. Um, that's pretty cool. Questions, yes. I think if I did, it'd be knees. Why? I, I feel like I can relate since I've had major knee surgery. But I mean, I'd be open to anything. So. It, oh, wait, hold on. And then um, through this experience, I was able to see a lot about what I want to do. Because first, I was like, "Hey, I'm gonna do or I'm gonna do physical therapy. I'm not gonna do athletic training because I've done it four years in high school." But then I was like, oh, "Maybe athletic training is where it's at. Less college." which is always a bonus. And it's working more with athletes, younger people, which I want to be able to impact their lives. So, yeah. And then she's passing around pictures right now. So, they're pretty gross. Yeah.